Hello lovely people, today I have a trash or a rubbish bag, you know what that means, we're gonna have some fun. So why in the world I need this? I need this because, uh, as you know, things over the phone don't translate audibly because like phone, YouTube and everything, compression, that kind of stuff, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, a lot of people ask me for an update for this subwoofer. So for those that you don't know, this is a one audio IB3V3. So it is an 18 inch subwoofer in infinite baffle application. There is a hold cut under the bumper and basically it's an infinite baffle this is not an enclosure this is just a manifold now this subwoofer has 32 or 35 millimeters of x max and a bit more x max mechanical limits so it does move quite a lot of air now it is rated at 1125 watts or something like that and if you follow my channel you know that i have a teramps smart 3 in there so the three kilowatt monoblock, 3000 watts for the subwoofer. Now, obviously I'm not using all of it, but I'm using a lot. As well, I have this battery. I haven't connected uh, the super cab bank yet, but I have this battery. This is a lithium battery from Crown Customs. Amazing thing. It can support up to 4000 watts, but I'm using like one and a half K. So it's not that much power, but it moves a lot of air. So today, as an update video on the IB18, I decided to show you how much air it moves and what can you expect from a single 18 inch. Now for this purpose, obviously we need some music. So this video, ugh, probably gonna be censored in other countries and I'm gonna lose monetization, but it's fine. It's not a problem at all. So today we're gonna flex and I have this rubbish bag to put it in front of my windows like the base heads do. I don't have a baby to float because my baby is 15 kilos, so she's a bit heavy, but rubbish bag is gonna be perfectly fine. For this, I will be playing, oh, just one song because I don't have like rebased music. I have this, uh, 13 by blah, 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 whatever it's called. And this, it plays down to 24 hertz, so below 30 hertz. We might try a few different other songs, but we're gonna play this. So uh, for this purpose, what I did, just to max out the subwoofer, uh, I let it loose. So I removed all the EQ from the subwoofer and I have only the crossover. And in the DSP, I think it's minus three or minus four dB because I was checking how much it can move. So I think it's kind of maximum that it can do so let's see and let's have fun this song starts quite a late with the bass so first i'm going to show you how the subwoofer moves the x max and everything then we're going to close the trunk or boot or whatever you want to call it and then we're going to see how it shakes the car and everything so this is the song i'm gonna let it full tilt and i'm gonna go outside okay okay <laughs> I'm gonna leave the door open. Yeah. So look. Now probably I could push it a bit more. And if you can hear like from outside, you don't hear anything just because it's an infinite baffle. So everything is canceling out. Now I do have some flex here. See the bumper? Okay, let's shut this and see what happens. Okay, let's float some babies. Let's put this one in. Yeah.
even if I'm standing like this, yeah. Yeah, this song is something else. Now, for fun, let's find something else. DNA by Kendrick Lamar. This is cool. So this is, in the beginning, it's not that bad, but if you skip it to like two thirds in, So guys, this is a single 18 in infinite baffle if you are asking about the numbers like all base has do i have absolutely no idea how much it does but from an sq point of view to say that this is overkill is an understatement probably you would be if you're just aiming for pure sq just to complement the front end probably a 12 inch is going to be perfectly fine a 15 if you want a party 18 inch to me personally it's too much if I let it loose, uh, just all the way, whatever it can do, five to ten minutes in the car, to me, it feels sick. Do I regret it? Absolutely not, because just to show, for others, you know, the coil is a little bit warm. Yeah, so it can take more. I just don't want to push it because I'm scared. It costs quite a lot of money, so I really don't want to break it. But an 18-inch for my system it's way too much however if you're talking about musicality this is a musical sub this is like a typical uh when everybody asks online this is a typical like sql sub where you have the musicality and it can get loud and low when you really really need it because even with no eq literally no eq it has a very nice rising frequency response that goes from like 45 40 all the way like down to like 17 16 hertz and it's kind of rising even with no eq so you could play it with no eq just with a crossover and it's going to sound amazing just reduce the level now due to the location not the subwoofer itself but due to the location it doesn't play above 45 50 hertz just because i did some tests when i was testing the infinite baffle and it's pure location wise and a lot of people as well that have infinite baffle subwoofers in the very, very back, they sell exactly the same. You have start starting to have cancellation about like 60, 70 hertz and stuff. So this subwoofer could play higher if you would have in trunk baffle like that and it plays all in the front into the cabin. But in here, in a car like this that is quite long and all open, it doesn't play above 45 that's why i have a front subwoofer this was a video that i usually don't do i don't do flexing i don't do like excursions or rattling or everything but just for you to know because a lot of people asked so there you go flexing thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one